Hey there, YTPC. Michelle Brook coming at you on Monday afternoon. It's a lovely day outside, but I got some packages, and so I'm not going to smoke, so I can do this inside a little easier. Uh, so the first one that I'm going to do is from Corvette Jim Pipe Rescue. I had Corvette Jim restore my friend's grandmother's pipes that she gave to me. You might remember a few videos back where I received a pipe cabinet, end table, piece of furniture, but also four of her grandmother's pipes that she used to smoke. Now, I've also since learned that the piece of furniture in question was most likely made by her grandfather for her grandmother. So let's take a look here. Jim has upgraded to bubble wrap. Uh, thank you for the privilege to work on your four heirloom pipes. It's been thoroughly cleaned, stem polished, old wax removed and buffed back to its natural beauty, ready to smoke. Um, it has been retorted with whiskey, uh, which is just fine with me. So if you guys don't know <clears throat> who Corvette Jim Piper is, He's a member of the YTPC here. Uh, he's also on Instagram. And if you have pipes to be restored, he is a quality guy to go to. This is the first time I've had pipes restored. I often buy restored pipes from him. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the small one first, which I thought was pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to actually smoke it myself. Uh, but it's just such a cool little pipe, and I'm glad that it was given a little bit of love by Jim uh, to bring it back to its former glory. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. So, take a look if you can. You can see it's got some like gilding designs to it. It's bedazzled a little bit. See if you can see that. Beautiful. Tiny little pipe though. So to compare it to my hand, little guy. It's called a cigarette pipe. Uh, love it. You know, if I had been smart, I would have printed out the history that Jim had sent me. He actually looked up these pipes even before I sent them to him. Uh, let's see. Here's the other one I wanted to open next. This one looked like it was centuries old when I pulled it out of the, uh, the box that it came in and look how beautiful that came out. So, tiny little nose warmer, great little pipe. I had no idea that this was going to be as beautiful as it is what an awesome little pipe. Uh, this one might actually earn a spot in my smoking rotation. So this is an Albertson 505 from Belgium. Clearly written on the bottom now. And let's see. Beautiful inside. Love it. I actually was just planning on keeping this as like an untouched heirloom pipe. Uh, but seeing how gorgeous it is, this looks like a perfect pocket pipe now. We'll see. Uh, all right, now here's the two that I had always intended to bring back into smoking, smoking shape uh, because I really want these in my regular rotation. So here's a gold square. Let's see. It says, Golden Square, London Made. You can see that it's got the, let's see if I can rotate, it's got the Gold Square logo. Beautiful, oh, on this side it says, uh, Made in England. I suppose there are other Londons, but that's a little redundant. Beautiful, he did a little, little rim work on this one, I believe. But what a gorgeous pipe, and 
for any of you who've been watching my channel for any length of time, is this not the classic, classic billiard that I would smoke? So this was destined to be a Michelle Baruch smoker. Now here's, here's the next one. Oh, look onto it. Look onto it. So this one is the, uh, oh, the Bonnie Briar Matterhorn, which is also a British pipe, I believe, though. Again, I wish I had printed out the stuff that Jim had looked up for me. Look, look onto it. Beauteous, gorgeous, nice, big bowl for comparison. Look how much bigger that is. <laughs> this is also something that's right up my alley. This will be one of my regular, regular, probably for English and Balkan tobacco pipes. Um, okay, so well done, Corvette Jim. Thank you so much. Uh, if any of you need to contact him uh, and can't figure it out via social media, send me a message and I'll put you in touch. Well worth it. Okay, this has customs declarations on it. Why, you may ask? Because this has come all the way from Spain, which must mean that it came from the Quaker Piper himself, Hector. So Hector, thank you very much for, this feels very heavy, my friend. Uh, we each sent each other a package my package to him arrived today too apparently so it's gift time for both of us happy birthday to both of us uh so this one normally i don't open these on air just because they're usually taped so well and packed so well and i do not want to slice open my hand oh there's the seam okay but I really want this to be an honest, honest first reaction, uh, me opening this box, because I suspect that Hector has really outdone himself uh, greatly. So, good golly, mister. You packed this for a nuclear war. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have. We have a postcard. Uh, I wish I'd thought to send you a postcard in Milwaukee. Uh, I think we have a bridge you would like very much. So this is the Guggenheim Bilbao uh, Suitable to read on camera. Thank you very much. I appreciate when a bro note says that. Uh, Shalom Achi, which is hello brother. Um, I hope you enjoy the selection of Samuel Gawith, Gawith and Hogarth, and Rattrays. I picked up some Latakia blends, but also some other blends I consider to be basic in their catalog. Thank you for your contribution to the community. In comradeship, Hector. P.S. Black Double X is a chemical weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've heard. Uh, very nice blend to smoke on an empty stomach. P.S. Number two, uh, Aaronsdale tastes like Grammy pants. I don't know what that means. So again, look on lovely Bilbao, Spain. Um, if you've never heard of that, Wikipedia, it's an interesting city. Um, it's in the Basque country. Hector also likes to slam Bilbao as a city. And my friend, this was amazingly generous. Um, I was hoping that some of the weight I was feeling was packing material. Now, I did send you some good stuff, but I, wow, I'm, I'm stunned. 
uh, by how much I already see without pulling anything out. So, Commonwealth full strength mixture. Oh, golly. This is, this is something that's hard to get here. Never tried it. Sam's Flake. Not even familiar with it. <laughs> uh, Bothy Flake is something that uh, my good friend Andrew enjoys a great deal, and I uh, am very, very much looking into it, looking forward to it. Uh, I also, for those of you who haven't noticed, I love all things that are Scottish. Um, so the Samuel Gawith stuff always is very Scottish in name, etc. Um, anyway, keep going. Navy Flake. Now this one I actually have tried. I am out of it, and it is spectacular. Uh, so glad to get me some back. That'll be good. Um, it just keeps coming. Check this out. Okay, see, I, I sp said it wrong when I read the uh, postcard. The Ennerdale. Uh, I actually don't know anything about this. Wow, that's, that's quite a cancer picture on the back. <laughs> the uh, EU does not F about with those uh, cancer warnings. Oh, man. Uh, this I have had the pleasure of trying once. It's good stuff. So, uh, a whole tin of it. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, oh, this, and this is intense. This is amazing loveliness. I would hearken it to the tobacco equivalent to drinking Lagavulin. Uh, Full Virginia Flake by Sammy G. I have never tried this, and this is one of those things that all of my Virginia smoking friends just go apeshit for. So, look at the little pile I've got going here. So far, seven, seven tins. I am, I'm, I'm a little verklempt. And here's one I've wanted to try for ever some skiff mixture from Sammy G. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. You you outdid yourself, my friend. <sighs> Alright, this this gives me the giggly happies. Uh forget <laughs> little of the rat rays. Uh red wrapper. -y. Good. Because I have put this in my cart so many times and had them be out of stock by the time I pull the trigger on my cart. Uh, and then, of course, it's just not been available for a long time since. So, and this, this is a, this is a big, big amount of tobacco here, my friend. So, good golly, how did you pack all of this into one box? It's like a clown car. <sighs> okay, well, for those of you who aren't me and Hector, I hope that was entertaining for you. Thank you very much, my friend. I am so thrilled to be your friend here and on Instagram and in back channel communications. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard for me to find the words, but I, I am very, very honored and touched that uh, we are in each other's lives and I hope that the much less tobacco I just sent you will be no less special to you than this was to me. So, um, I mean, this is like six months worth of smoking right here. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, you are absolutely a mensch. You have made me very happy. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, and to the rest of you, be very well. Have a great Monday afternoon. Um, yeah. Be well. Zygazint.